<clears throat> right so here we are just going to talk about starting and stopping services and in one of the previous video i've actually shown you before that linux always consists of services um, and let me say server ports or some communications uh, what's got taking place in the background and then if you can remember vividly we use um, a, a command like net start so when we view net start so it's actually what net start does is that it views all the services let me see all the server all the server services that this system is actually running in the background so that is actually what is it but <coughs> in case of some other services we also have power, power over services also to execute a bash so let's just go ahead and dive right in so we have a command that means system ctl and if you type that that help so it's going to show us some things we can do. It's a list unit, list socket. So these are services that are related to socket. Uh, list timer, also to say start. You see, we have start, we have stop. We can reload a particular unit. You need to always call them unit anyway. Unit, unit anyway. So we can disable a unit. We can preset or we can check if it's enabled before we can do all, all sort of things like that. I think. We have default enable system default mode. Enter. We can use it. We can even use it to reboot the system. Basically, what is actually meant for is a system. Uh, is a is a is a system control command. So that is why they call it system CTL. So system system CTL, which stands for system control. So let's just take the status of my SQL. My SQL. So give it some time to load up all by itself as you can see it gives us the status of my square at uh, this, this it is loaded which and uh, it is disabled which means it doesn't automatically start when immediately i boot up the computer that is the meaning of the disable and information here it says it is inactive which it is dead and it gives us some document the location to document and some i think it's the location to a website that gives us more document about it what if we, want, we need my square so what is my square it's actually stand for my structure query language this is a kind of database program or let me say database service that allows you to store information keep information then query it to get your information back to you so you it, that doesn't really you can do let us go uh you can do extra research on that but well, this course is not based on my sql uh, i think in one of my python module i actually teach my students how they can use my sql and they can put data into it and then query it in their application when they build an application so what if you want to start the service you want to start this my sql service or oh, what we can do we can just do okay system ctl start my sql sorry my sql like that and that's the, that's the command system situation and it's going to prompt us for our privileged password so which means our pseudo password your own might be Kali your own might be roots if you have not changed it and I'm just going to enter my own so we just give it some time to load up and as you can see which means that we don't have any issue to check the status again you can do system city health status of this my square service which is running and you can see you can see now it gives us it is active and it is running say we started it is eight seconds ago uh it is still disabled because i don't want it to uh load up immediately after i do, i just don't want it to load up immediately after the after the system the system boot up i don't want this service to start like that let me just quit this so that's how to start and stop see if i want to stop it so it's the same command again system city health stop my sql then put in your password okay so if i do system city health store status again not store um oh no, sorry that's uh status of my sql system status of my sql you can see it's now dead so we are back to the way it was before well, another thing I've not actually show you is that mm, I think I should cover that in another video, but I feel like I should cover it now in this video. If you want to change any password for a user, all you have to just do is to enter the PSSWD password. 
then followed by the name of the user that you want to change is our password so i want to change it for my myself which is gabriel then it's going to ask me to enter the current password you just have to follow it then i'm going to enter the current password so if the current password is correct it's going to ask you to enter the new password and then you just going to ask you to enter the new password again until you are done say so retype the password and that like that it said no password supply so I, I don't want to do this anymore anyway so i'm just going to abort that because i'm i don't want to do that anymore all right authentication took him and to to show error okay thank you so it has actually how you want to change how you want to change uh how you actually want to change your password um let me just cover all this thing together in a video i think i should have covered it uh, in the previous video where we are doing user users and groups so i just want to cover it up right now so what if you want to create another user so if we do uh something probably you in line up to it's also provide functionality that which whenever you want to do something just think of what you want to do and you can ask a a propose so a propose user like that so since we are doing things relating to user uh, so i'm just going to write a proposed user and this is going to give us all suggestions uh, let me say all list of commands that we have that are, that have something in association with users now as you can see so we have a lot of users right here uh, if you think of something more you can just pass to uh if you see me using the grip command before the grip command allow you to grip uh, a particular keyword within the output or inside the file so i can say grip and uh, what do you want to grip let's grip create so you can see now it, instead of giving me that full list of a uh, lot of options it actually gave me the what's it called it actually give me where well, all these are uh, more that include create you can see so as create user uh this one also has create create everything actually have something like create user and that is how the grip your command is so so essential okay or like that so this is it if you want to user hard i want to add a new user it's going to say create a new user or update default new user information so all we can do is that if i want to create a new user i'm just going to say user hard tap tap f so the f actually lists what we can do so it, it gives us that the default print or change default user configuration uh directory base yeah uh, we can we can set a lot of things the home directory for this user we can set the comments for it for the new account you can say tag m which is no create home page so which means this, this user is not going to have home page uh the password you can select the encrypted password for the new user and also you can use system the roots the all the stuff like that so let's just go ahead and, and use this guy let's go ahead and, and use this guy so i'm not going to set any option i'm just going to say user add uh what can we call this um what can we call this kind of user let's call it admin right so i don't have permission to do that i'm just going to do use sudo then my uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. all right so which means i've already had this user so what the need the next thing i need to do is that i need to add password to these users and let's just go here yeah, say pssWD to add me so that's actually the user we created you may view and modify user information for uh, pssw you may not view um let's see okay maybe because i because i didn't specify some information about it but let us go ahead and ask you to add me to see if that user is created successfully well wow, there is no password let's see um ask you to add me what's the default password here just going to try that Oh, uh, I think that feels. Um, that also fails too. So I think this admin is not working. Uh, let me just delete user admin. That we need to do. So I'm trying. I'm just going to create. Create done. There is no more. Uh, no more. You will use admin. Okay. So let's just say. Um, add user so there's another command we use add user admin one like that say only which user may add admin okay let's use sudo so it's adding it then asking or is asking for the password i'm just going to give it admin one two three admin one two three 
all right so yeah he's going to ask for a full name i don't need that i don't need that he's going to ask for all this information uh is it correct yes everything is correct so if you want if you want to switch to the user we have to use switch user to or let me just talk to user to add me one i think that's the name then oh i lost my mind i think that's add me one to three reports why that why me that's my bar admin one two three all right so now we are able to log in as admin one on this linux so how do we do that we so <laughs> ignore the creates the create user that i use uh, the other time is actually not working so it's actually add user so i use add user followed by the name of the user that we want to have and then after we do that it just front up with all those forms of information so all right so if i say who am i now sorry that's not it who am i so it say you are admin one like that so you see i'm logging as admin one that's going to exit exist that on a bit so if we actually ls splash home you can see we have three users on this uh, system we have bob we have admin one and so so let me just see it to bob do i really have bob which bob wow bob does not exist so why don't we just remove the name okay i'll do that later so that's uh, what i want to show you what you can also do so see you in the next tutorial while we are going to be talking oh wow so it's already the end of the tutorial i don't even know all right so up next that is coming we are going to be talk talking about bash scripting so just just show you the basics of bash the for example the conditional statement the y system and the things you can do with it so let's see you in the next tutorial please